Hello everybody. Let's give it a little while for people to log in. Welcome everyone, welcome. You can see people are joining now. Uh, so as you can see, we've got a couple of uh, Nightfall booster boxes here. Yeah, they're really cool. They're uh, mint in condition as well, as you can see. Nice and sparkly. Uh, we've got two out here, because I thought I'd give you guys, uh, you can poll which one you want to open. Um, you know, keep it random. Uh, so if you want to go for the left one, say left. If you want to go for the right one, say right. Um, and yeah, cast your votes, go. So I'm quite excited about this. I've not actually seen any of the cards. Well, I've seen a few of the cards that have kind of shown up on social media and stuff, but I've not actually looked through the set list. So this is actually going to be the first time that I'm actually looking through this. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, left, left, a lot of people saying left. Left, left. Just give it a little bit more time for people to join. Uh, but yeah, obviously today we've got, you know, every all the cards are going to be sleeved. Uh, you know, we've got, we've got rigids. You know, we've got bags, we've got the whole thing. Uh, and obviously today as well, you know, everybody that's bought a pack is going to get one of our uh, Dungeons & Joy pads. They're upside down. <laughs> Dungeons & Joy pads, uh, promo cards. So they're pretty cool. Hope you guys are enjoying those. Oh, there's a bunch of people saying right now. So we've got two lefts, three right. Three of each. Three of each. <laughs> Typical. So left or right, guys, cast your votes, cast your votes. Yeah, like I say, obviously we're going to be giving out these uh, Dungeon Joy Pads uh, promo cards. We've got a whole bunch to give away today. Nice pack of MetaZoo. Well, we've got a few packs to go through today. We're not going to open up both boxes, obviously. Um, but we'll, we'll open up the one. And uh, you guys can decide whether you want the left or the right. We're going to be searching for our old scratch today. Left or right, guys. Come on. It's five letters, just type it into the chat. <laughs> left. Look, most people I think are saying left, so I think we'll go with the left box. Um, and we'll get started, so hold on one sec. So we've already got the uh, address labels already numbered up. Uh, these are all ones of 36. And the way we're going to do it is we're just going to pull number one. We're going to read the sort of name off the, off of it, and then that's, that's going to be a pack. These were um, decided in the order of purchase. So if you was number one, then you actually purchased the pack first. Um, so that's the way we're going to do it. So let's get into this box. Good luck, everybody. I think this is going to be uh, should be fun. I don't think there's many box breaks out there on uh, social media at the moment, so it should be quite fun to actually go through this. There we go. Nice shiny box. I think they've done a really good job with this. This is such a great packaging. One of the best products ever made. And obviously the seal is, yeah, you're happy with the seal. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. So hopefully someone will be able to get their old scratch today. But uh, yeah, the chances are obviously very slim. Um, so this is the first pack. And the first pack is going to be for... Uh, ben T. I'll try and keep the pack arts as uh, sort of intact as possible as well. And I'll send you these out as well, obviously. I mean, they're quite difficult to get into, though. There we go. Here we go, guys. Good luck. Can you guys see that all right? Yeah, glow in the dark. Yeah, it looks pretty cool when it glows in the dark. Uh, so we've got Aura Prowess. We have Napa Rebobs. We have Iceberg. We have the Kinderhook Blob. We've got the Boogeyman. That's a cool card. Uh, we've got the Crystallized Light. We then have Robert the Doll. It's quite a dark looking art as well. And then, wow, M Hollow Mothman for the first, first Hollow pull of the box. What do you guys think of that? Is this one of the hardest ones to get? I don't know whether they've downgraded the rarity of the Mothman for this set. Uh, you've got the Headless Horseman, non hollow there as well. And then you've got your auras. So that's how the pack works. Okay, that's pretty cool. So let's get these sleeved up for you then. So there we go, guys. First pack out of the gate. We've got a hollow Mothman. You got to be pleased with that, surely. Uh, who was it for? That was for uh, Ben T. That's really cool. So that'll be packed up, uh, ready to go out to you tomorrow. Uh, there's your pack art there for you. Make sure everything uh, goes out to you. Well, wow, what a great what a great pull that was! I can't believe that on the first pack. First pack magic. We'll get magic the whole way through the box now, you watch. Uh, so, second person is... Uh, we've got Daniel L. Uh, number two. This is going to be your pack. Good luck. I mean, we've pulled a Mothman already, you know. <laughs> and get the pack open here we go so we've got Aura Prowess again uh, what's that say Wallowa Lake Crustacean Pyre that's, that's some pretty cool artwork that one uh, the T Kettler Uh, the Bloody Bones, Sinister Shadows, Vampire Mercy Brown, and we've got an Alaskan Vortex Hollow. Wow, look at that. That's incredible. It's a bit like the Eternal Snowflake from uh, Cryptid Nation. Uh, so, that's, that's, so how does this work then? Do you get two rares? Prison Beam. Uh, so those are the two rares, and then a nameless token. Oh, so you get a token now, and then you get your two auras as well. Okay. Wow, so there you go. Let's get that one sleeved up for you. There you go. Daniel L., hopefully you're happy with that one. That's a cool card. Well, guys, two for two. What can I say? I mean, <laughs> you picked the right box. Uh, so pack number three is for Robin M. 
uh, and we'll go we'll go left side this time we've got the cool pumpkin art this is actually my favorite um, pack out of the set I think this is really cool No, oh, didn't do the best on that one, unfortunately. Here we go again. Uh, so we've got the Dark Lightning Orb. Land Tax. <laughs> Is that a uh, nod to the old Magic the Gathering cards? Um, we've got Possession. Mermaid Shimmer. The Jacko Lantern Bomb. The Spooky Kite. That's just like a bat. Uh, the Dover Demon. Oh wow, another hollow, guys. Jack Frost. That's quite a popular one. Uh, from, so, from what I'm hearing. That's a cool card. So do you get one hollow in every pack then? or A Thunderbird. non hollow. Try and get the focus a bit better. Uh, and then you've got your auras and tokens. So there we go. The Jack Frost. So we've got three hollows in three packs. Is this supposed to be like that? And that's a great card. Come on guys, three three hollows in three packs. Is it supposed to be that way? Uh, so we've got uh, number four, Marcel C. Uh, and we'll go for the pack on the right this time. Here we have the Wendigo. Don't think there's a hollow in every pack, but a good start though. You get a hollow or reverse in every pack. Okay. So it's like before then, so you get the you get the reverse or the hollow slot and then but there's an additional rare at the back, so do you always get a non a non hollow at the back? And is it is there a variant for each? Because there's a non hollow Mothman as well, right? Let's hope for thirty six out of thirty six, yeah I agree. So here we go, Wendigo, this is for um Who was it for again? Who is it for? Uh, for Marcel C. Here we go for the first Wendico pack of the box. We've got Arkansas Snipe. A non hollow in each pack. Okay, guaranteed gold. Oh, okay, right, I see. Because obviously the reverse hollows can be uh, non, non golds. Uh, the Wallower Lake Crustacean, uh, the Static Wand, Trinity Amulet, uh, Brain in a Jar. I've not seen that one yet, that's quite cool. Uh, the Caster Center MD, Nightshade. Oh my, another Mothman. Reverse hollow this time. That's crazy, guys. Two Mothmans in a box. So we've got the Thunderbird in the non hollow slot. And you've got your auras. Damn, guys, this is a crazy box, right? Another Mothman. leave that up for you there you go another Mothman that is absolutely crazy uh, so well I mean come on like can we can we continue to keep getting these these amazing pulls I mean that wasn't a hollow that time it was a reverse hollow but a Mothman so we'll we'll, we'll let it off do the card trick for from the back to the front. There isn't a card trick for Metazoo, is there? Oh yeah, I guess there is. If you uh, 
if you include the auras. But then the old scratch is at the back, right? It takes the token slot or the aura slot, if that's right. It's only 100 old scratches, though, so it's not totally correct. What are you guys talking about? Might be wrong, but there is the same amount of cards printed for every card. Yeah, I think you're right, actually, because Mike did say that he actually wants the rarity, not the rarity, but the um, perception of value to be decided by the market, which is quite interesting. Um, uh, so set number five is for Stephen K. And we'll go with this purple pack here, the ice cream cone. Made a bit of a mess of that pack, unfortunately. Here we go. We've got the AirPods, the Air Rods, <laughs> uh, the Light Elemental, oh. the Smoky Spirits, the Tea Kettle, Bloodlust, the Purple Blob of Philadelphia. Looks like a Grimer. Pokemon. We've got a Veggie Man. Oh my word, guys, this is ridiculous. Another Muff Man. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm seeing. Muff Man's for you, Muff Man's for you. That's crazy. Dark Watchers, not hollow. And then there's your tokens. Guys, that's crazy. Another Mothman. Congratulations. That's an insane pull. Again, another Mothman. I wanted to kind of see more cards from the set, you know, but I'm glad you guys are, glad you guys are pulling Mothman. Uh, so set number six is for Matthew A. And we're going to be going for this pack here. Here we go, good luck. I mean, do we really need it at this point? Am I cook? <laughs> Napa Rebobs. Static Wand. The Tehehan. It's a great thing about Metazoo, it really teaches you how to read, doesn't it? Bloody Bones. The Werewolf, Werewolf of Defiance. Dampen. An Obsidian. Obelisk Hollow. I don't know the significance of this card, but it's another Hollow and it looks pretty cool. Amazing. Another Hollow, guys. There's your non Hollow Rare and then your Auras. Let's get this uh, sleeved up for you. There you go. Uh, so next pack is for uh, Brian L. Pack seven. There we go. Pumpkin art. We have uh, Belled Buzzard, the Napa Rebobs again, Rebobs, Sam's Holy Water, the Tea Kettler, Fame Death, Holy Eyes, Nightshade, and another Hollow again, 
Abduction. That's a really cool card. That's one of my favourite ones so far, I think. That's incredible. And then there's your non hollow rare, only three auras. Guys, I actually can't believe how many uh, hollows we've had out of this box. There you go again. Abduction. Uh, pack 8 is for Sharon R. We've got another orange pack here. Or Jack O' Lantern. Pack 7 full hollow. I mean, at this point, it's hollows all the way, isn't it? Or if it's not a hollow, it's a Mothman. Black Eyed Children. That's a creepy card. Nightmare. Smoke Screen. Tehi Han. I think that's how you say it. Index. Something I can say pretty easily. The Simultaneous Bioluminous. That should have been a hollow. That'd look great in a hollow. Uh, the Galu Palic. And <laughs> Adam Ackler. Another hollow, guys. That's incredible. I mean, this has got to be one of the best boxes on the internet, isn't it? There's your non hollow. And then your token and uh, auras. So this is the um, Sam Sinclair type card, right? That's really cool. What a box. What a box. Uh, so we've got pack nine. We've got uh, Ethan S. And we'll go with green pack. I don't know what the name of this is. We're going to call it the... It looks like a spider with a horse head. <laughs> so we're just looking through like a lot of the cards as well, even the commons and stuff, because I've, I've actually not seen any of these. I don't know if you have either. Uh, so just fun. Take a time. Look through it for the first time. And uh, just kind of experience the cards. Tribal War Cry, we've not seen that one yet. Oh, Bubbling Brew. The old Frogman. Werewolf of Defiance. Dispel Evil. Oh, wow. Reverse Hollow Light Elemental. Look at that, though. It's just a fairy that's holographic. I think that's really cool. And you've got Momo. Not seen him yet. And there's your hollows. But that is, that's incredible. What a great card. Just the fairy shining. I love that. So we've got pack 10. Uh, it's for Thomas S. About a third of the way through. Green pack. That one come apart quite easily. Here we go. Absorb aura. Nightmare. Smoky spirits. Tribe tirade. Burst in Spiderlings. Torrential River. That's quite cool. The Dover Demon. And there we go. The Reverse Hollow Purple Blob of Philadelphia. So I think the Reverse Hollows look so cool. Especially, especially when it's got a cool colour behind it like the purple. So there's your Hollow. Oh wow, there you go. 
Look at that, a non-hollow Mothman as well. That's a double hit pack. So there you go, double hit pack there guys, Mothman non-hollow. And the purple blob of Philadelphia reverse. I'll sleeve both of those for you. We lost focus. What's going on with this camera? That's because it's waiting for the card to be there. Okay. There we go. So that was a great pack. Double hit pack. Uh, so pack number 11 is for Patrick H. And we'll go with the Wendigo on the left. Here we go, guys. We've got Destroy Aura. The Luffalang. Oh, that's the uh, card that's on the front of the green pack. The Iliamna Lake Monster. Call him Sharky. Halloween Ghost Sheep. It's everybody's kids a couple of days ago. Banish. Sinister Shadows. Veggie Man. Thunderbird Reverse Hollow. Nice. It's a nice reverse rare. Oh, and the Grim Reaper. We've not seen this one yet. Non hollow, nice. And there's your auras. So there you go, Thunderbird and a Grim Reaper, Grim, Grim Reaper, double rare pack. So you can't complain when you get a double rare pack as well, you know. That's the great thing. There's always, there's always a chance to get something good. Grim Reaper. Next pack. This is what you guys are saying in the chat. To be fair, the cards do look great. Yeah, I think this set, it looks like the card, it, the artwork, even all the way through the commons and the and the uncommons and stuff, they, I think they all look great. Uh, so, pack number 12 is uh, Vedas B. Good luck with the Wendigo pack. We have the Absorb Aura. Land Tax. Imprisonment. Excavation. Bloodlust, Spectre Moose, it's a bit like the Ghost Deer from there, uh, is that what the Ghost Deer evolves into? <laughs> Dampen, oh wow we've not seen this before, the Tuttle Bottoms Monster, Reverse Hollow, I've not seen that one yet, and we have the Guardian Angel Non-Hollow. Very nice. Get these sleeved up for you. So there's your guardian angel. And then This is called the Tuttle Bottoms Monster. <laughs> I 
Next pack is four. Pack 13 is for Stuart P. Here we go. Yeah, I think even even just with opening the packs as well, putting in that non-hollow slot, that's quite a cool slot. You can still pull some of the cool cards, you know, like the Grim Reaper, uh, the Mothman. I'm not seeing that one yet. The God Cabbage Town Tunnel Monster. Poltergeist. The Tehi Han. I'm never going to know how to say that. Jack O' Lantern Bomb. The Werewolf of Defiance. Vampire Mercy Brown, we've not seen that one yet. Oh wow, well, Twin Meteor Reverse Hollow. That's a rare as well. See what I mean, like the reverse hollows, I think like it just suits the art for that card, you know, so it's a meteor crashing, it looks great. Prism Beam, double rare pack again. Zombie token, there's your auras. I just don't think you can go wrong. I don't know that the reverse hollows are sort of quite popular anyway, aren't they? Because they're just so kind of unique. There you go. Hope you're happy with that one, Stu. Uh, next pack, we have uh, Daniel H, pack 14. Good luck. We're not hitting anything crazy since we've got a string of muff men. I hope that the box isn't, uh, you know, front loaded like that. But let's see what happens. We've got the Beast of Blade and Bomb. The Wunk. <laughs> Imprisonment. The Tea Kettle. Index. The Purple Blob of Philadelphia. The Unlucky Potion. The Kitty Cat. And the Turtle Bottoms Monster Reverse Hollow. The second time we've seen that. And the Potion Seller. There's your auras. So it's not the craziest pack. But that's a cool card, I like that. It's got a funny name. Uh, next pack up we have uh, Glyn J. Orange pack. So is that supposed to be a rare for the, the Jack O'Lantern? I think that's, I remember seeing one, right? And the one I'm looking for is Headless Horseman himself. Beast of Blainborg. The Water Baby of Massacre Rock. Imprisonment. The Kinderhook Blob. <laughs> Bubbling Brew, Torrential River, Destroy Terror, and the Reverse Hollow Wood Devil of Coos Country. There you go. That's the Reverse Hollow. And we've got a Thunderbird and three Auras. Get this sleeved up for you. This is called the Wood Devil of Coos Country. Been in the UK, I've not heard a lot of these, but they're fun anyway. There's the old Thunderbird. 
Uh, next pack we have uh, Nathan T, pack 16. Here we go. Build buzzard. Water to wine. Some Metazoo Jesus there. Poltergeist. Mermaids Shimmer. Bursting Spiderlings. Oh. Spoiled the pack there, guys, but it's alright, we'll go for it still. <laughs> Cast the center. Dispel Evil. That's some cool artwork. And the Lightning Alley Hollow. Was oh, that a reverse hollow? Yeah, it's a reverse hollow. Sorry. I thought that was a hollow. That's a cool card, though. Twin Media. And then your uh, non hollows. So there you go, Lightning Alley. That looks really cool in reverse. Next one is pack 17, Alex R. Nice green pack. Here we go. We have Arkansas Snipe, mosquito type character, Ludwig, Smoky Spirits, The Bandage Man of Cannon Beach, Bubbling Brew, Holy Eyes, Unholy Fire, and another reverse hollow. Light Elemental. Really cool. Oh wow, non hollow Mothman. <laughs> Great pack. And there's your tokens. So there's your Mothman. And there's your reverse hollow light elemental. Uh, what number is Adam? Well, let me see for you. Number 25. Number 25. Uh, so, pack number 18, Sophie B. Nice green pack. Good luck. We have A. My Cook. Sounds like someone from Yorkshire. <laughs> The Crazy Critter of Bald Mountain. Smokescreen. Mermaid Shimmer. Brain in a Jar. The Headless Sun. Or the Headless Nun, sorry. The Zombie Apocalypse. That's pretty cool. And the Reverse Hollow Kinderhook Blob. Nice. And a non hollow Momo. And then there is your auras. There you go. Nice reverse hollow. 
Uh, next up we have Chris R, pack 19. Nice Wendigo pack. Here we go. Black Eyed Children. Ludwig. Poltergeist. Kinderhook Blob. Bloodlust. Crystallized Light. Zombie Apocalypse. Oh, nice. A nice hollow potion seller. He really pops with that hollow. And you've got the obsidian obelisk non hollow. And there's your auras. That was Chris R. Uh, hold on a sec, just running out of sleeves this side of the table. There you go, potion seller. That's really cool. Uh, pack number 20, we have Zoe S. Menazoo. When to go. So the distribution of the pack seems to be a bit random as well, right? The actual pack arts themselves. We have Blessed. The Luffalang. Possession. Mermaid Shimmer. Bloody Bones. Earth and Binding. I've not seen that one yet. Unholy Fire. Oh, nice. A Dark Watcher's Hollow. That's really cool. Starting to hit the hollows again. Congratulations there. And we have the Oklahoma Octopus as the non hollow. See, we're still seeing cards in the non hollow slot that we've not seen before. And there's your auras. Get this one sleeved up for you. Are you happy with that one, Zoe? I'll see you in the chat. <laughs> nice. That's a great card. Happy with that. Good. <laughs> That's good. Uh, next pack. Pack 21. James M. We have the Belled Buzzard, the Wunk, the Iceberg, the Tea Kettler, the Thane Death, the Spooky Kite. I think, is this one the next? No, I think the next one's the rare, isn't it? The Unlucky Potion, because I see we've got a, a black card, so could this be the Headless Horseman? Wow, nice. What a call, guys. The Reverse Hollow Headless Horseman. This is actually my chase card. So, I'm glad that you managed to pull it, James. And then you've got the Wendigo Non-Hollow as well. That's great. What a pack. Wendigo Non-Hollow. And the Headless Horseman Reverse. That's crazy. What a crazy pull. Uh, one sec, just got to grab some more sleeves.
wasn't expecting to get so many good hits, you know. <laughs> um, next pack, we have Maria J, pack 22. We've got the purple ice cream cone. We've actually seen this in the uh, in the set yet, right? The Halloween ice cream. We've got that Am I Cook? Am I Cuck? Whatever it's called. We've got Meta Zoo Jesus. The familiar. We've not seen this one yet. The Halloween. Ghost Sheep, Boost Aura, Earth's Binding, The Unlucky Potion, oh wow, Hell's Gate, Hollow, I've not seen this one yet either, that looks cool, and then Alaskan Vortex, we saw that in a Hollow earlier, and there's the Auras. There's your Hell's Gate. That's a great pull. I've not even seen this card um, on social media or anything. Uh, pack number 23, we have Adam M. Got the Origins Checker Lantern pack. Oh, look at that, look. Been a uh, crimp properly. Well, lucky pack. Here we go. Destroy Aura. Metazoo Jesus again. Frostbite. We've not seen that. That's a new one. Tribal Warcry. That's a new one as well. The Murphysaboro Mud Monster. The simultaneous bioluminous. Oh, well, there's a hollow headless horseman. Well, there you go. You've pulled both of my well, not the both of my chase cards, but you've pulled both versions of my chase card. What a wicked card that is! And there's your non hollow and your auras. Wicked, such a great card. Get that sleeved up. Yeah, great box. I agree. This has been such a great box. Really good box. There's the pack up. Uh, pack 24. We've got Aaron. I think there's two Aaron M. So I'm going to say Aaron M. I is, is this pack. Uh, it was the only name that there was two of, so... Just to make it uh, clear for y'all, crazy box. Yeah, this is this is a hundred percent a crazy box. Am I Rook? Cosmic Warp. Imprisonment. The Total Bunt Bottoms Monster. Banish. Spooky Kite. The Dover Demon. Oh well, we're not seeing this one yet. The Hollow Injured Cold. Yeah, Injured Cold. I've not seen this one before ever. Oh, and a non-Hollow Mothman as well. This is crazy how many Mothmans we've seen. There you go. What a great pack. We're hitting that great pack magic again, aren't we? Metazoo bring the fire. I'll uh, sleeve up your Mothman for you as well. Uh, 
There you go. That was for Aaron M. I. Oh, there's your auras there as well. Uh, next pack is for Adam L. You can pull over, pull over quick. <laughs> Aaron M I. Oh, nice. Well done, man. Yeah, you, there you go. You pulled the uh, injured, injured cold, and you got the non-hollow Mothman as well. That's a great pack. Do I need to ask if you're happy with that one? He's watching. Okay, right. I was just trying to stall, let him let him pull over for a sec. Here we go. Good luck. Am I Cook? We've seen this quite a lot on the front card, haven't we? Water Baby of Massacre Rock. The Pyre. The Jack O' Lantern. The Boost Aura. Holy Eyes. The Galupalik. Oh, wow. A nice hollow thunderbird. There you go. Was that worth pulling over for? <laughs> and you've also got... What is this? Frank Shaw's Gargoyle. There you go. Wicked hollow card. Get it sleeved up for you. There you go, that was your card. Are you happy with it? I hope. <laughs> Great. That'll be going out to you uh, tomorrow. Uh, pack 26 is Holly B. Here we go. So what cards are we missing? What cards haven't we seen yet? We've not seen a hollow Grim Reaper, have we? Is there one for the Jack O'Lantern? The Arkansas Snipe. Metazoo Jesus again. Sam's Holy Water. The Kinderhook Blob. Brain in a Jar. The Simultaneous... Big Luminescence. It's hard for me to see through the camera what these are called. Robert the Doll. Oh wow, so is this the... So is this a hollow? Or is this a reverse hollow? This must be the hollow, right? Hollow Twin Media. That looks cool too. And then you've got the Grafter Monster in your non hollow slot. Hollow, yeah, I think that's a hollow too. Really cool. Get that sleeved up for you. And there you go. Hollow Twin Meat, yeah. I think we've seen this in, the, in every variant now, right? That was for Holly B. Uh, pack number 27, we've got Mike B. Good luck, Mike, with the Wendigo pack. We have Blessed. Let's hope this pack is. Cosmic Warp, Frostbite, Tribal Warcry, Brain in a Jar, Spooky Kite, The Dover Demon, and Reverse Hollow Air Rods, Airpods, 
What actually are they? I've never seen these before. And then your non-hollow slot, the old books crying tree. And there's your reverse horror, uh, your auras. Get that sleeved up for you. There you go. Air rods. Uh, oh, sorry, next pack is for uh, Janelle S, pack number 28. And this is your Wendigo. Good luck on this pack. The Black Eyed Children. Garbage Town Tunnel Monster. Few Filet. Sounds like a great steak. Tee Han. Boost Aura. Spectre Moose. Dispel Evil. That's a really cool artwork on the card. And a Reverse Hollow Adam Ackler. That looks cool too. Going Super Cyan, and then your non hollow Oklahoma Octopus. And there is your Horus. There you go, Adam Ackler. Hope you're happy with that one. Uh, pack number 29 is David L. Here we go. Getting towards the end of the box. It's been a crazy box though. Pulled all the really popular cards. Or most of them anyway. The Axe Handle Hound. Lantax. Possession. Trinity Amulet. I've not seen that yet. Great Blizzard. Or that one. Spooky Kite. Destroy Terror. We've not seen that one either. A Reverse Hollow Air Rods. And you have a Non Hollow Dark Watchers. And there's your auras. There you go. Next pack we have Ricky S, pack 30. Getting towards the end now, guys. We haven't found the old scratch yet. We haven't found old scratch yet. Uh, this is for Ricky S. I think I did say that, didn't I? Uh, axe, axe, handle, hound. Metazoo Jesus again. Iceberg. Halloween ghost sheet. Brain in a jar. Torrential river. Unholy Fire. A Reverse Hollow Grafton Monster. We're not seeing this one yet. That's cool. And Born from the Earth. We're not seeing that yet either. And there are your um, auras. Here we go. Reverse holograph the monster. Pack number 31, we have uh, Stephen M. Nice Jacko pack. pack. Oh, made a mess of that one, sorry. We 
we have Amar Cook, Lafalang, Fufalay, Halloween Ghost Sheep, the Murphy's Borough Mud Monster, Spooky Kite, Unholy Fire, oh wow, we're not seeing this yet, Flood the Earth. Wow, that's really cool. Flood the Earth Hollow and Twin Meteor Non Hollow. Get that sleeved up for you. There you go. Flood the Earth. We're not seeing that one at all. Pack 32, we have Nathaniel L. Here we go. I'm getting towards the end of the pack now, guys. Nice, happy with that. Yeah, I'm glad you're happy, man. Glad you're happy. There's been some really good, really good pulls in this pack. In this box, sorry. Really good pulls. So we have Am I Cook again? I always feel like if we have this card at the front, it's usually a good card at the back. So let's let's put it to the test. Jinxed it now though. The Luffalang, Iceberg, Mermaid Shimmer, Index, The Headless Nun, The Unlucky Potion. There we go. I mean, need I say more? <laughs> holographic headless horseman so there you go I think we've called it if if you get this card at the front of the pack you're going to get a good card here headless horseman I can't believe we pulled this like oh there's the there's the ice cream non hollow wow there you go a headless horseman again I think that's the second hollow we've pulled and we've got one reverse as well. That's a great card. Congratulations. Uh, pack 33, Samuel C. Here we go. We have Blessed, the Crazy Critter of Bald Mountain, Imprisonment, Jack O'Lantern, Bubbling Brew, Simultaneous Bioluminescence, Dampen, Permafrost Hollow, we've not seen this one yet either. Wow. And then a potion seller. There's your auras. So I don't know about you guys, but this pack this box has been pretty incredible, right? All the hollows. Even some of the non-hollows as well have been crazy, like the Mothmans. Uh, pack number 34, we have Aaron M. Here we go. Did my pack get pulled yet? Yeah, I think, James, yours got pulled a while ago. I, don't ask me what you got, though. <laughs> Dark Lightning Orb, that's a new one. Ludwig. Polargeist. Kinderhood Blob. Bursting Spiderlings. Sinister Shadows. Destroy Terror. Oh, nice. A hollow potion seller. 
That's wicked. And then a prism beam. And there's your auras. Get this sleeved up. There you go. Hollow potion seller. Love the potion seller. Yeah, it looks really cool. It really pops out from in front of the hollow as well. Uh, next pack, 35, William F. Uh, Matt Allen, yeah, I think we have done yours. We've only got two packs left, so uh, this one's for William F. And then the next one is for Lawrence W. Are you happy with that, yeah? <laughs> That's a great pull, I agree. So we've not seen any Grim Reapers. We've, we've seen a non-holo Grim Reaper, right? We've not seen any hollow ones. Not that we can complain with this box, though, because it has been incredible. Imprisonment. Tell Bomb Monster. Banish. Holy Eyes. Zombie Apocalypse. Oh, and there we go. Reverse Wendigo. That looks incredible. Looks like he's levelling up. <laughs> Wicked. Divine Covenant. We're not seeing that one yet either. There's the auras. So I think that's the first Wendigo we've seen, right? Well, that's a bit. Let me know what I hit after, if possible. You're doing another post pack opening. That's a cool when to go though. Uh, okay, so the last pack is for Lawrence W. And this is the last pack in the box, guys. Is the old scratch going to be in this pack? I mean, it seems very unlikely at this point, but we can't complain because it's been a great box. We've had Wendigos, Mothmans, Potion Sellers, Headless Horsemans. I mean, I've not seen, I've not actually seen any uh, box breaks, but I'm going to have a look, have a little look through YouTube now that I've actually seen some of the cards in person. And, uh, Aura Prowess, Garbage Town Tunnel Monster, Poltergeist. Excavation, Bloodlust, I can never remember the, what this is called, Simultaneous Bioluminescence, <laughs> Unholy Fire, and a Crazy Critter of Bald Mountain Reverse Hollow. Nice card. Oh, look at that. Flood the Earth, Non-Hollow, and then there's your Auras. So we hit some pretty crazy cards in that box break, to be fair. I'm really happy with that, how that went. And I'm not even obviously getting any of the cards all going to go out to you guys. Um, obviously as well, everybody's managed to, everybody grabbed the pack. We'll be getting one of our uh, our promos as well. Dungeons and Joypads promo cards. Uh, there's five to collect, five different hollows. <laughs> and you get one of every purchase on our website. So have a look at the website if you're interested. Um, but that was it. I mean, I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I really did. This is a great, great product, really. Um, I mean, the box is incredible. You have all the shininess. Um, yeah, I really like it. Really cool. The pack art looks great. The way that the the, card, the packs actually open, they feel really premium. Uh, the cards, the card art has actually, I think, in this set has just really upped it a notch. Really gone up. Um, and the non hollow slot as well, you know, just it really makes the packs every pack, you know, you, you've got two chances to actually hit something good. Um, I think it's great. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Let's have a look at some of the comments. That was really good. Would love another box break, <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I have got another box left, but this is this is going to be my personal box, unfortunately. Um, 
Great pulls. Enjoyed the opening. Yeah, I mean, we've got some really, really good packs, I think, in that set. Um, really, really good packs. You know, we've got, like, there was, like, three or four Mothmen. Um, we only got one Wendigo. We didn't get any. I think we've got one non-hollow Grim Reaper as well. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed all that. Anyway, and we'll, we'll have the spell books turn up soon. So what I might actually do is we'll, we'll, we'll open up one of the spell books and we'll open up a release deck um, when they turn up. I think they're coming tomorrow, actually, but... I'll give you too much content in one week. Maybe we'll do it next week. Uh, open up a spell book, open up a release deck, and then just see what's inside those and how cool they are. Uh, will there be more boxes available in the coming weeks? No, the, the booster boxes are, as far as I'm aware, they're sold out everywhere. I think the last shop to have them was basically MetaZoo on their marketplace on launch day. Um, so I don't believe that there are any more of these available. It is just a case of going onto the secondary market now and you know <laughs> it is what it is unfortunately but you know these these are this is a great product i've got to say well worth the money and i think really you know looking at what was actually pulled in that in that box as well like if you was to you know pay ebay prices for one of these boxes i think you would you know sort of well get your money back in terms of value um but yeah is there any more questions at all before i go or uh anything else you'd like to see in the future Um, hopefully you like this Pokemon mat as well. This is actually a uh, Pokemon Championships London from 2016. Um, pretty cool mat. But I think the next stuff that's coming for MetaZoo for sale on our website will be the theme decks. I think the theme decks are coming in uh, a few weeks' time. It's supposed to be mid-November, uh, but we've not had any official word yet. Um, so keep an eye on the website, guys. And... Uh, obviously, you know when they do come. You know, good. I hope, hope uh, everybody manages to grab one. Uh, I'm not too sure how we're going to do the sale yet. It really depends on, you know, how how many we get. I mean, probably what we'll do is like player packs, so you can book. You know, you can you'll buy, be able to buy two at once, so that you can you know buy two, so you've got someone to play with as well. That's probably the way that we'll do it. Um, but like I say, it really depends on the allocation and. Uh, and how many of each deck we get, you know, because, uh, you know, obviously you'll need two different decks. So we'll probably just do one sale um, and you'll just get two random decks, whatever those decks will be. And hopefully that will uh, sort of try and get into more, get more people playing the game, you know. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining, guys. I hope everybody enjoyed that. And, I, you know, I really did. There was a lot of really good pulls in that really good box. And uh, hopefully we'll see you um, in the future. Follow the socials, sign up to the newsletter for more MetaZoo updates in the future, you know, if, if, for when we get more stock and stuff. Uh, Crypto Nation 2 is going to be coming out very soon as well uh, in December, so make sure you're following us for that as well. Uh, hopefully there'll be booster boxes and release decks and, you know, all the other stuff that they bring with that as well. Um, I think that's basically it. Keep an eye on the store. There's always stuff going on there. We actually had a cancellation on Spellbook uh, last night. Uh, so that went back on the store, but it was purchased more or less straight away. Um, so, but always keep checking because there's always cancellations. Well, not always cancellations, but if we do get a cancellation, then we're going straight back on the website. Um, so thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the box break, and we will see you on the other side.